I'm Bob Duhamel, and I'm going to answer some questions about my video on what is electricity and what is an electrical circuit. Our first question comes from this user, whose name I don't want to try to pronounce. And his question is, can the voltage be compared to an electric field which also has positive and negative terminals and the force that it exerts on electrons through electric field lines, as in a diode barrier potential? Well, this is a little advanced, but we're going to talk in the near future about what is voltage, how to measure voltage, and how voltage is distributed in a circuit. But the short answer is yes. Our next question comes from Shadow Thing. I'm not going to read the whole question. You can read it in the description below. But the question is basically this. If we have a circuit where we have a battery, positive and negative terminals on the battery, and we have a circuit that goes through, just to keep it simple, through a light bulb, and we know that the current through the circuit is actually electrons moving from the negative side to the positive side. But in the electronics industry and in academia, when we examine electrical circuits, we pretend that electricity flows from positive to negative, or what we call conventional current. And the reason we do this is because it makes a lot more sense to imagine it this way. If we have our current flowing from negative to positive, now, when we reach a resistance, the current's going to back up behind that resistance and cause an increase in voltage to a more negative number. And so, as the voltage goes high, the number gets lower. And as it leaves, as the number gets lower, the voltage gets... Uh, it's already confusing. So, we just forget about what the electrons are doing, and we pretend that electricity is a fluid that goes from positive to negative. Now, as that fluid enters a resistance, it's going to back up and it's going to cause an increase in pressure, a more positive number, a higher number. And as it leaves, it's going to be a lower pressure, a lower number, a more negative number. That makes perfect sense. And all through the circuit, we'll find that as the current goes into and out of resistances and other impedances, that we get a higher voltage where it goes in and a lower voltage where it goes out. It just makes it so much easier to analyze the circuits. But it's backwards. It's, doesn't it mess up the circuit to see it going that way? And the answer is no. It's because it's a closed system. Let's say we have a fire hose and we need to stop the water from flowing out of the fire hose. We have to have a valve somewhere before the end of the hose. We can't stop the water from going the other direction. I mean, it's, it just doesn't work that way. But with a closed system, it doesn't matter where we put a valve or let's say a fuse or something. So let's say we want to put a fuse in the circuit to blow and stop the current if the current gets too high. What if we put the fuse here? So if that fuse blows, doesn't it stop the current? It does. What if we put the fuse here? When the fuse blows, it stops the current. It doesn't matter where we put the fuse. And in fact, in almost all instances, you can't really tell which way the current's going unless you examine it very closely. In fact, scientists had it backwards for many years until Joseph Thompson discovered the electron and showed that the electric current actually flows the opposite direction. So the circuits work the same either way. It's just the way we imagine things working is just much easier for our minds than following the electrons as they go around. Uh, a couple of exceptions to this are, for example, vacuum tubes or valves, whatever you call them in wherever you are. Uh, they work by the flow of electrons, and to examine how they work, you have to follow the electrons. But once you step back and look at the circuit from a wider view, you don't have to follow the electrons anymore, and you can use the conventional current to analyze how the circuits work. So the bottom line is, it doesn't matter where we put a fuse anywhere in the circuit. We'll see more about this when we study series circuits and Kirchhoff's voltage law and other things relating to that. But it doesn't matter which way the current flows. The circuit doesn't care. It just works. But it's easier on our minds to imagine that the current goes from a higher positive potential to a lower negative potential than the other way around. It's just a lot easier to follow things that way. So keep those questions coming, and if you know the answers to questions, be sure to answer them in the comments, because we're having some really good interaction in the comments for these videos. If you found this video useful and informative, please give me a thumbs up down below. It really helps the channel. And subscribe and hit that gray bell, because that not only informs you when I put new videos up, but it really helps the channel also. 
And a big thank you to my patrons at Patreon. I could not make these videos without your support. If you want to help me put these videos online and keep real vocational education free at vocademy.net, you can go to Patreon slash join slash vocademy and pledge your support. And again, a big thank you to my patrons who make this possible, and a big thank you to everyone for watching.